and now we can say it. Spring starts here. Walt Van Aert's Team Visma Lisa bike had the pressure on their shoulders going into the first cobbled classic of the 2024 season, and they delivered an Omloop Het news blot. It wasn't Walt or last year's winner Dylan Van Barrow or Tish Benoit or Christoph Laporte, last year's winner of Ghent Wevelgem, or new American signee Matteo Jorgensen, who was on the tack over the Murr, Kappel Murr, and the Bosberg. But yet it was super helper Jan Tracknik, the Slovenian often in the service of Primoz Rolich over the last two years, Jonas Vingago and Van Art. He benefited from the team domination, attacked only to be marked by Niels Pollitt, who he handled by some defensive riding in the sprint finish. We couldn't do anything else today, Walt Van Art said afterwards about the team winning. Van Art and his team came in as the clear favorites for Omloop, with Matthew Vanderpool not yet starting his season and red hot Mads Pedersen of Team Lidl Trek skipping Omloop. They delivered with attacks after attacks on the same day when their teammate and two-time Tour de France winner Jonas Vingago was doing the same over in Spain at Gran Camino. I'm very happy we won, said Van Art. I could have won myself, but we had said beforehand that we had different riders to win. We showed that it was great to see how we dared to take the initiative and that we were rewarded for that. Before the cameras came on in the Belgian high winds, echelons were formed and riders were strung out in the gutter. Team Visma took control. They had everybody on the limit and a group of 27 men formed. We had the advantage as the strongest team, added Walt Van Art. The 27-man group saw Walt ride with teammates Christoph Laporte, Matteo Jorgensen, Tish Benoit. Philipson was there from Alpesen. Casper Asgren and Johnny Moscon from Sudal Quickstep, Pitcock with Ineos teammates, Luke Rowe, Connor Swift, Ben Turner, and Lidl Trek with numbers. Visma kept hammering 50 kilometers to go, 50, 54 kilometers to go. We see Matteo Jorgensen on the Wolvenberg. Walt Van Art follows that up. They're doing attack, counterattacks, until finally a group of six men form. In that group, it's Jorgensen, his teammate Van Art, European champion and their teammate Christoph Laporte, Tom Pickock racing for Ineos, Arnold Delis, the sprinter, the Belgian for Team Lotto Destiny, Johnny Muscon, Sudal Quickstep, and Tom Skewens representing Lidl Trek. And once Visma saw they had the gap, they kept pushing and it looked like it had the legs heading into 42 kilometers to go and on to the Molenberg, the famous climb short 500 meters long punchy with the maximum gradient of 10.9 percent visma represented three of the six riders in the group and they played the numbers well over that climb they controlled things arnold de looking around not knowing what to do Pitcock did not seem to be on his best on the day. Over the top of the Molenberg, it was Christoph Laporte in that European Championship jersey who tried his luck, marked by Tom Skewens behind and Tom Pitcock trying to do something. But there you see right away, the Visma boys are on him and marking the moves. A crash, Sudal Quickstep was not on the day today. It was Julian Alaphilippe looking the worst off on the ground, shorts ripped. We could hear him scream in pain. They They'd hit some of the traffic furniture. Also out of the race, Casper Asgren, former Flanders winner, and Florian Vermeesh, their former teammate, now representing Arkea Samsic, back up to the bunch. And Matteo Jorgensen, not on a cobbled climb, not on a cobbled sector, but in this small little village, 21 kilometers to go, attacks. And this is how the B riders win in a super team. All the eyes are on the big stars and they have such domination that they can play the numbers and that's what they were doing today. And Jorgensen was powering away, gaining a massive advantage. Just think, after four years proving himself with Team Movistar, he signs with the super team. Last year, a breakout season in the Cobble Classics. 18th he was in Omloop and then Flanders with the great ride. He was riding free. Skewens was trying to do something to close it down. Walt Van Aert was marking him. So too was Christoph Laporte. And it looked like, we'd all said to ourselves, it looked like the American Matteo Jorgensen in his debut race with the Dutch power team was going to win the race solo. And what a cool sight. Despite the suffering, Matteo must have been enjoying the moment. 
heading to the final big climbs, these famous climbs in Flanders. There he was, solo, representing the super team of Visma Lease a Bike, going over the Mur, Kapel Mur, with the church at the top, heading through the screaming fans, the smoke blowing on the sides, and the four or five riders chasing behind, with Tom Skewens at the front, marked by Walt Van Art, and up ahead, it was Matteo Jorgensen, powering clear, but holding just a slim advantage over the top, 26 seconds. We could see Tom Pitcock not on the top of his game, and back behind, the chasers were catching the group of Walt Van Art as they raced down from the top of the church down to the final climb and Jorgensen his first race of the 2024 season just back from a high altitude camp in Spain in Tenerife. Matteo Jorgensen was enjoying the moment and we thought he was going to pull it off. Up front though his advantage was slipping away and it wasn't to the chase group behind with Tom Pitcock, Tom Skewens. No, instead it was the group chasing behind and it was UAE who was really leading the charge. It was Tim Wellens, it was Oliveira and it was Nils Pollitt who we had seen breaking away with Jan Tragnik and on the Bosberg here we see Solo Matteo Jorgensen being caught by the group led by UAE team Emirates but what does Visma Lisa Bike do? Well, they launch their other numbers. In that group behind was Jan Tragnik. And when the Slovenian saw his chance, around about nine and a half kilometers to go, he launched. The only person who could mark him at that point was Nils Pollitt, the tall figure from UAE Team Emirates, running along with Jan Tradnik for those final kilometers in Deninove. And Nils Pollitt was trying to do turns with Jan Tratnik. Jan Tratnik was riding defensively, knowing he didn't have the sprint to match Nils Pollitt if it came down to the line. Lotto Destiny was working hard behind for their sprinter, Arnold De Lee, who was riding so strong on the day, but it wasn't to be. The win was going to be fought from the two riders up front. Jan Tracknick, Nils Pollitt. Jan made Tracknick do most of the work, and then coming into the final meters, he set on Pollitt's wheel around about 250, 200 meters to go. Tracknick makes his move, sprints off the wheel of Nils Pollitt, goes on, gets the victory, goatee, net gator still on, celebrating in style a Visma Lisa bike victory. And he said afterwards it was his biggest ever victory, bigger than his 2020 Giro d'Italia win, representing Visma Lisa bike. So in the first big one day race of the season, all eyes were on Walt Van Art, and he delivered with team tactics, winning with Visma Lisa bike in the 2024 Omloop Pet News Blood.